I rep my culture heavy. I'm just thankful to be out here to put us on a platform. It's definitely big, man. I mean, just because my grandma growing up and, you know, my dad uh, kept us aligned with the culture out there, you know, and, and, and let us, you know what I'm saying, understand. Just the second Filipino-American to reach the NHL. It was 11 years after Tim Stapleton had become the first when he joined the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I was born in the Philippines with my two younger brothers. I spent a lot of good times with them in Asia. My mom's Filipino, Suzanne. Kamusta, mga kaproud? Today's video episode ay kikilalanin natin ang ilan sa mga sikat na atletang merong dugong Pilipino. Hindi man masyadong matunog ang pangalan nila sa Pilipinas dahil nga hindi tayo pamilyar sa kanilang mga piniling sports discipline. Pero gayong paman patuloy silang namamayagpag at proud na nagpapakilala bilang Pilipino. Uh, that was special. Philippines playing a massive part in my life. Ever since I was born now, I'm always happy and proud to say I'm born a Filipino. And... Simulan natin sa sport na medyo pamilyar tayong mga Pilipino, ang rugby. Teka, maling rugby ata yung napailabas natin ah. The Philippines will be on their way to Russia for next year's World Cup 7s. Bago pa nga mag-viral ng pagtitiktok si Eruption. Sa itong matikas na member ng Philippine Volcano, ang rugby national team ng Pilipinas. Sa ko with them, medyo mataas talaga yung level ng rugby ng Pilipinas ngayon. Sa ngayon nga, meron tayong kababayan na hindi man yan nare-representa ang Pilipinas sa rugby tournaments. Pero proud naman itong Pilipino na ibinabahagi ang ating kultura at pagkain sa kanyang mga TV at documentary features. Adobo. <laughs> Adobo from the Philippines. Adobo. It's a pretty um, standard dish in Philippines where uh, it's where big families get together. It's nice and it's nice and big dish as you can see. Ipinanganak sa Pilipinas mula sa inang Pilipina at amang British. Nagsimula ang kanyang rugby career sa edad na pito. Naglaro siya para sa Manila Nomads. Sa edad naman na labintatlo ay lumipat na ang kanyang pamilya sa UK kung saan nakatanggap siya ng sports scholarship mula sa Brighton College. At dito na nga nagsimula ang kanyang matagumpay na karir sa paglalaro ng rugby. That's great. Thank you very much. Mamakas me. Mula amateur hanggang maging profesional at napabilang nga siya sa koponan ng England squad noong nakaraang Rugby World Cup. He's moved to the bench. Marcus Smith starts at 15 with Freddie Stewart left out of the squad altogether. Alex Smith. Just having a traditional Filipino dish with my mom. My mom's knocked it up. So this is my mom, Suzanne. Hola. Uh, Nakatutuwang isipin na hindi nakakalimot si Marcus na tanawin ang kanyang Filipino roots sa kabila ng kanyang tinatamasang tagumpay. Doing things over there that will make me proud of myself and hopefully help many young people in the Philippines get into rugby and get into sport and do the right thing because I see that as really important in my life. Ikaw ka proud. Baka naman rugby ang sport na para sa iyo. Kaysa naman kumukuya ako ka dyan sa kanto, baka ito na ang chance mo na makilala sa buong mundo sa larangan ng sports. Uh, free admission po sa stadium doon, yung pinakamalaki doon, it will be the HSBC Rugby Sevens uh, Malaysia Attorney. So, After, if you're a bit peckish, you go to the fridge and there's, if there's a little Tupperware of chicken adobo, you, you, you're in luck. So, uh... Dallas Stars made Robertson the 39th pick in the draft, becoming the second Filipino-American to play in the NHL. Lumako naman tayo sa NHL kung saan Bilang lamang sa daliri ang mga Pinoy na nakapaglaro dito ka proud. Kilalanin ang Filipino-American ice hockey star na naglalaro sa kuponang Dallas Stars sa NHL o National Hockey League kung saan napabilang nga ito sa 2023 National Hockey League All-Star Game. Ganon kagaling ang ating kabayan. 
Uh, a superstar emerged with the Dallas Stars uh, in the last couple of years, and he would be Jason Robertson. Thanks for joining us tonight on After Hours. Yep, absolutely. Half of Robertson's family is from the Philippines, including his mother, Mercedes. Patuloy din si Robert sa pagre-representa, hindi lamang ng kanyang Filipino side, kundi ng buong Asian community pagdating sa sport na ice hockey side of the family, my Filipino side, was already close, but uh, the fact that they have hockey now to watch us play, uh, to bond and to talk about that, uh, it just increased um, that level of uh, how close they are. So Proud kami sa'yo, Robert, at patuloy mo lamang galingan at manatiling positibong ehemplo sa mga kapwa natin Pilipino. Malay mo, marami pa ang maingganyong maglaro ng ice hockey mula mismo sa Pilipinas. That's pretty good too. Oh, these are nice. Oh, these are really good. She loves it when we go to LA and uh, she's able to bring her brother and sisters and, and my grandma to the games and uh, she gets quite emotional. Mula sa NHL, lumipat naman tayo sa NFL. Viking Cam Bynum today picked up NFL Defensive Player of the Week honors after two big interceptions to help the Vikings beat San Francisco. There in the Philippines, so really built my whole life this offseason in the Philippines. So getting denied, so if anybody out there can help with the visa process, I greatly appreciate it. But nag viral nga kamakailan ang Pinoy NFL player na si Cam Bynum matapos itong humingi ng tulong sa mga kinauukulan para mapayagang makaalis ng Pilipinas ang kanyang misis matapos madinay ang visa. America, I love America. God bless America. Nagtagumpay nga din naman si Kabayan at nakapiling ang Pinay na misis para makanood ng live games sa Estados Unidos. Also with the American flag and also uh, my mom's side of the family in the Philippines. So being able to do that and just people seeing. At siyempre, ang bagay na talaga namang nakakatuwa kay Kambaynong ay ang kanyang proud na pagre-representa ng kanyang Pinoy roots at ang pagbabalik tulong niya sa pamamagitan ng mga outreach programs sa Pilipinas. Approved ka dyan, Kabayan! Like on TV and you, you just realize, like I think back when Manny Pacquiao was fighting and how much uh, pride that gave us all as Filipinos. Special mention na din natin pagdating sa football ang nag-iisang Filipino Champions League winner na si David Alaba. Hindi man niya nirepresenta ang Pilipinas sa world stage ay proud naman niyang winawagayway ang kanyang Pinoy roots mula Bayern Munich hanggang Real Madrid ka proud. Dagdag mo pa sa listahan ang malupit na shotstopper ng West Ham na si Alphonse Ariola. Isa lamang tong patunay na ang Pinoy mabigyan lamang ng tamang exposure at pasilidad. Kahit anong sport, kayang-kayang tumapat. Huwag lang agad ihahype dahil nauuwi sa gulayin ang munggo imbis na gulatin ang mundo.